Hello. So today we're going to be looking at uh, my motherboard that just came in, uh, the AV350. It's a B350 for AMD's new CPU line, uh, Ryzen. Uh, I haven't seen any videos um, particularly for this board, so I figured uh, I'd make a little unboxing. Um, I haven't uh, tested it. I actually just got it in about 10 minutes ago. Um, but figured I'd make a just a little quick overview unboxing video um, so you can take a look at it uh, physically. So um, let's go ahead and open it up here. And I haven't opened it myself yet either. Like I said, I just got it off the doorstep 10 minutes ago. So, um, so this board is capable of overclocking uh, just like all the uh, the other B350s and X370 boards should be capable of doing. Um, all the chips from Ryzen are going to be unlocked. It just depends on which motherboard you have. Uh, so this one in particular has that. Um, another thing I do want to point out that for some reason isn't really advertised on either the sites uh, that they sell this on or um, their own site is that it actually does have an RGB uh, pin connector. So you can connect, I believe, up to a 35-watt connector, 12-volt, um, for an RGB strip or multiple of them linked together, uh, I would assume. Uh, so that's cool. Um, not sure why they're not pushing that for this this board, because that's really nice to have at least one of them, uh, especially if you're going to set up you know, um, any sort of uh, gaming rig and you really want lighting in there. Um, this is an alternative, more... Uh, budget way of doing that without having to buy an X370 or one of the nicer boards that particularly advertise for that. Uh, so this guy I got off Newegg for uh, $89 shipping and whatnot too on top of that. Uh, it's one of the cheaper boards but I picked it specifically because of color um, and because it was in stock at the time. Uh, well it was actually back ordered but they shipped it within uh, within two weeks so that wasn't too bad. The other board I was looking at was ASRock's other uh, similar looking board. Um, they have a couple of these that are white and black, but uh, I believe it was the X370, not the Tai Chi, but the killer board, I believe. Um, but ultimately, since that one has been out of stock for uh, about a month, as I'm sure you know, are aware of, if you're looking for Ryzen or basically virtually any uh, CPU part right now, there's going to be some issues with price and availability since... Uh, it's a hot time right now to, to buy. Um, so let's go ahead and open her up. Um, so what do we have here? Looks like we got a uh, pretty basic IO shield. Uh, it's aluminum. Um, unfortunately, it only comes with two SATA cables, which is strange to me considering this board, I believe, sorts, supports up to six SATA plugins, but. Um, I guess I'll just have to use some of my extras from my last build, or have to pick some up. It's not that big of a deal, but it would be nice to have. Uh, that's my cat. Uh, have enough, you know, to fill the fill the board if you did have enough hard drives like that. Um, not sure what those are for. I have to read about that in the manual. Two little tiny screws. Um, those might be late late additions. They have had quite a lot of, um, not revisions, but updates to these boards, especially as far as BIOS um, and things they're including, like uh, uh, certain boards, they're including the correct uh, mount for your CPU um, cooler and whatnot, because um, they had spacing issues, I guess. Uh, this is just basic information about how to mount your, your memory in this board. Uh, if you're doing certain setups, depending on speed and how many modules. Um, yeah, here we go. There's another edition right here. Uh, ASRock RGB LED, what I was talking about earlier. Uh, they're actually throwing this in because this wasn't initially enabled right out of the box. Um, but with a recent uh, BIOS, I believe a few days ago, BIOS update, they, they enabled that for this board. Um, let's see here. So we got the... Uh, driver CD. Um, looks like we got some other software on there, which I obviously won't be using because these are probably going to be out of date. Uh, but cool thing is, looks like we have, let's go take this out. 
looks like we have a sticker. I really like the stickers. I don't always use them, but I like having them because it's it's just something extra, you know. So that's pretty cool. That's a decently nice one. Let's see if we can focus in on that there. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice little sticker. I like that. Uh, the Ryzen one, uh, my other videos I showed, um, came with one too, which was pretty cool because us gamers who've you know been around for a little bit, uh, I started building in the early 2000s. Uh, that was kind of a trend. You get you know a cool little sticker, and we'd plaster them all over cases at that point back then. But um, yeah, it's just something cool to have. Uh, comes with a really nice manual. I'm not sure how much of this is going to be in English. I'm sure a lot of it's going to be in other languages, but you know, it's it's good to have a decent manual. It's just easier than having to you know go on your phone or your computer to check something real quick that you you may have uh, overlooked when you're putting stuff together. Um, let's look at the board here now. and move it out of the way here. So, oh, that is a pretty decent looking board, I must say. It's not overly fancy or anything, but uh, it'll do the job. Um, I'm not super heavy into overclocking or anything. I might do mild overclocks just to extend uh, the lifespan of my my parts a little bit, but um, it's nice that this this has that option. Uh, like I said, I didn't really buy this as far as you know. I was on a super budget or anything, um, but uh, it was more about availability and particularly color because I am going for kind of a white a white build with uh, black accents and stuff. So this is one of the few boards that are out now uh, and available now. Um, at least they were at the time I bought this last week. On new eggs, so um, that's more more along the lines of why I, why I purchased the budget board instead of something like an X three seventy. So let's take a quick look. I'm not too keen at taking this out before. Well, I guess it does have some foam on the back here. I'll slip it out here just real quick. To take a look. I don't want to screw it up before I actually build. <laughs> uh, so we got plenty of connectors at the bottom, USB. I'm sure you can go online and read the specs. I mean, it's pretty basic uh, as far as what it what it has. So there's not really any surprises here. Um, has you know pretty just decent mediocre audio chip if you're into quality audio. Um, as particularly with this board, if you are in with multi channels, um, I know this does support seven one, but obviously it doesn't have the six connector pins so I personally don't really use my my surround sound very much I actually have switched kinda to gaming headset as of recently um, so this wasn't really a big of an issue for me um, so we got little mounts here which these are gonna have to come off for um, as you can see my stock cooler over there that came with my 1700 I'm gonna try that guy out since uh, be my first build with RGB so a little interested in that uh, might pick pick a custom cooler later but uh, I'm sure as far as I've seen from um, reviews and whatnot that does a pretty good pretty decent job uh, so you have uh, M2 uh, looks like you got two slots uh, one right here one here uh, I believe this one is the 32 gig and this one's six but it's nice to have too, because if you want to add hard drives, especially a lot of the more modern cases, they don't have as many hard drive mounts um, and slots and whatnot. So it's cool to be able to add straight onto the board instead of having to fill up your case with extra added weight. Um, doesn't have any fancy plastic covers or anything like that, but it's got a really nice paint job to it. It's kind of a glossy black uh, with the. It's kind of a, a off white. On the board just barely but it looks white enough that it's not going to be too distinguish uh, distinguishable from everything else that I have. Uh, you got four RAM slots. Um, I believe this board 
officially it supports, uh, I believe, just 2400, but uh, there is mention in the literature about, uh, and online, about it supporting up to 3200 with overclock uh, because of the CPUs too. So I don't believe if you do want to go up to that speed, you'll have any sort of issues. Of course, though, recently these boards have been kind of in their infancy, so you may run into more of just BIOS related issues than actually platform related issues or this board particularly having an issue with that. It might just be software or BIOS uh, other than the board, the board's hardware itself. Um, uh, it looks like uh, well, we got power phases up here. We got uh, six plus three, so that's that's pretty decent uh, for you know budget board. Uh, nine power phase. I think it was more than any of the other boards that are the B350s that I could find anyway. Uh, eight pin power. Uh, you have six SATAs too, so that's nice. Um, I'm really not a huge fan of these sideways ones. Uh, it depends on which case you have, but I mean to each his own, but uh, at least it does have two two vertical ones there. But um, you do have two uh, PCIe's also. However, I'm not sure if this board, I know other B350's can support Crossfire. I know that most of them uh, can't support Slay or SLI um, out of the box because they require the proprietary NVIDIA chip. Um, it's usually situated down here somewhere. Um, but they do support Crossfire since that's not a requirement for Crossfire. Uh, but this board, I, I'm not sure if it does or not because uh, there wasn't anything on the site or anywhere that I could find since there really isn't much information about this board out as of yet. Uh, but this is an X16 and this one supports up to X4, unfortunately. Normally it would support X8 uh, if it's a higher grade B350 even. But uh, it seems that they've kind of skimped on that on this board. Um, but uh, it does have other features like the RGB lighting, which is, to me, is going to be more important in the long, or in, in, at least in the foreseeable future, uh, because I don't really plan on doing Crossfire anyway. Um, I'm currently running a GTX 1060, and you can't do SLI with that anyway. Um, thanks, NVIDIA. <laughs> uh, for whatever reason, they chose to cut that from those that series. But, uh, but yeah, so... Um, that's it. I mean, it's it's pretty basic, uh, but um, I'm not sure either if it has 3.1 as far as USB, because I know almost all of them do. It's another place they may have skimped. Um, well, it does say USB 3.1 right here, because on the website it only says 3.0, but that might just be a number. Um, but it does have uh, USB-C, so... I'll have to do some uh, some research or when I put this in. Uh, my RAM hasn't come yet, so I can't actually test it. That's why I haven't haven't done that for you guys. But um, yeah, so you do have uh, plenty of other connections. Um, you got uh, your integrated um, chip connections for when when you do have if you are going to run an APU whenever they come out. I believe uh, Bristol Ridge or whatever it's called. Um, you'll be able to plug in there if you're not planning on on doing uh, an expansion card for video video card um, but uh, yeah that's, uh, that's pretty much it um, if you have any specific questions or anything about this board um, I'll be happy to answer them for you uh, just make a comment down below um, you can like subscribe to my channel if you want um, I'm not a regular poster or anything you know I just do this more for fun than for anything else um, but uh, once I get this up running in a few days, um, I'll be able to have more information for you if you have questions. But uh, yeah, so $89.99 on Newegg. Um, as far as on paper, it, it's pretty good, pretty good price for uh, kind of a beginner rise and build. Um, or if you're planning to do uh, APU stuff later when they come out. But yeah, so that's it. Um, you guys have a great day and. Good luck with your builds.